I got to admit, I am really excited and I'm very curious about this whole Mike Tyson comeback thing. For those of you who haven't heard the news, Mike Tyson has officially announced that he is making a comeback into the boxing world. Now, we don't know entirely what this means, but he has officially agreed to fight Roy Jones Jr. in what is called an exhibition match in late November. This is an official fight that's been scheduled. It's going to be eight rounds, and they say it's just for charity. But this is where it gets interesting. I don't know if you guys have watched the footage, the new footage of Mike Tyson training, but it is insane. He is 54 years old, and he is moving at the speed of a 20-year-old. Even in the Joe Rogan podcast where Mike Tyson was interviewed, Joe Rogan was saying the same thing. Now, I know Joe Rogan is not a professional boxer, but he was a professional fighter. And so I would trust his opinion. When he watched Mike Tyson training in these new videos, he said he looks terrifying and that it would take even an elite person in their 20s to fend Tyson off and to handle Tyson. I'm going to post a video below to the footage of Mike Tyson training, and I want you guys to tell me what you think. It's, it's absolutely unbelievable. Now, when I first saw it, I very quickly thought to myself, what is really going on here? If this upcoming exhibition match is truly just for charity and for raising money, and it's an exhibition, you would not see a person train that hard. He is training all out. And if you listen to him talking in other interviews, he has even said that the uh, gods of war have reawoken, uh, uh, reawakened his ego and that he is ready to, to come back like full force. Now, a while back, the heavyweight champion George Foreman said something similar before he became the oldest man at age 45 to become the uh, heavyweight champ, he used the same line. He was talking about, you know, fighting for charity and having an exhibition. Now, am I implying that Tyson will be a heavyweight champion? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Obviously, he's 54, and he's way older than even George Foreman was at age 45. But something in the back of my mind, I don't know if it's just wishful thinking because, you know, when I was growing up, when I was in elementary school, those were the peak days where Mike Tyson was fighting and when he was the youngest heavyweight champion of all time. So maybe it's just me wishful thinking and wanting to relive some of my glory days when Tyson was at his prime. But part of me almost wants to see what's going to happen here and what Tyson does with all this. And this kind of ties into MGTOW in a way, you know, in an indirect way, because who says, who says that we can't do certain things? Who says Tyson can't make a comeback at age 54, right? Or even if he doesn't make a, a heavyweight comeback, who says he can't get back into boxing again and give it all he has, right? He can do what he wants. And that's, that's another element of why this whole thing is just fascinating me. But if I could get into Mike Tyson's mind and I had to predict what's really going on here, I do believe, it is my honest opinion, that he's already accomplished being the youngest heavyweight of all time. And now I think he wants to be the oldest heavyweight of all time. Guys, I don't know. I might be proven totally wrong a few months from now, but there's no other explanation that makes sense to me at this point for, for the reason why Tyson is doing what he's doing and with the intensity. I watched an interview with Teddy Atlas, who is uh, a boxing guru, and he, he was actually one of the original people that was involved with Tyson at a very young age and helping him to train and climb the ladder. And even though Teddy Atlas has a lot of negative things to say about Tyson at this point, especially because he thinks Tyson kind of just gave up on his career towards the end, he did say that if Tyson shows up, this is the way he phrased it, he said if Tyson shows up and wants to fight, meaning his heart is in it, he said there's no doubt in his mind that he can beat Roy Jones Jr. with a knockout. This, of course, leaves the question of, okay, well, beating Roy Jones Jr., who is almost equally 
Tyson's age is one thing, but that's a totally different thing to to win the heavyweight championship. Now, a lot of uh, boxing experts do believe that the heavyweight division is pretty weak at this point, right? I mean, who do you have? You have um, you have uh, Deontay Wilder, you have uh, uh, Anthony Joshua, and then you also have Tyson Fury, right? A lot of people believe it's nothing like what it used to be, and you know, maybe that's maybe Tyson sees that. Maybe Mike Tyson sees that, and he sees that as a another thing in his favor um, that increases his chances, right? But I think I will pay the pay per view fee, which it's like forty nine dollars or something or something like that in November. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pay it. Are any of you guys gonna watch it when it's on uh, pay per view? Also, I want everyone to make an official prediction in the comment section. Everybody. Everyone. I want everyone's prediction on the record, right? Tell me what you think. Well, first of all, tell me what you think is going to happen with the the Roy Jones fight. I'm pretty sure Tyson's going to win. And then after that, what do you think is really Mike Tyson's goal? What do you think he's going for? And if you think he's going for the heavyweight title, do you think he has any shot? And I want you to be honest. Let's get a discussion going here.